Hello, today I'm going to be doing a walkthrough of how to put a PHP pro project into source control using Subversion, also known as SVN. I will be using the command line on an Ubuntu server to create a new repository in Tortoise SVN to check out and commit files into SVN. Developers use SVN to maintain current and historical versions of files such as source code, web pages, and documentation. Using Windows Explorer, I'm showing you some projects that I already have under source control as indicated by the green check marks. In this exercise, we are going to be putting CI Proj1 into source control. So I've connected to our Ubuntu server as someone with super user access using the PuTTY, which is an SSH client that you can download for free. In our setup, we'll be creating the repository in the home SVN repos folder. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. As you can see, I already have a few projects here, some repositories. And the command to create a new repository is SVN admin create. and the name of the new repository. You'll notice that root owns the new repository, which is not going to work because Apache needs access to it, just like the, the other repositories that we have here. So we're going to have to change the ownership using the following command. So you'll, you'll need to change this to your Apache user. In our case, it's triple W data. Oh, got a typo there. There you go. And the final step would be to check your SVN access control file to make sure that your users can use a new repository. We have ours stored in the ETC folder. And we call it SVN Access Control. So make sure you review yours, otherwise you won't be able to access your new. Now we should be able to check out the new repository using Tortoise SVN's checkout command. Tortoise SVN is an SVN client that you can download for free from subversion.tigris.org. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rename our project folder because we don't want to overwrite that using the new checkout folder. So I'm going to right click and choose SVN check. In the URL of repository, make sure that you have the correct repository name and then click OK. If you had authentication in your re repository, you'd have seen a username and password dialog box. In my case, I don't have that because I've already authenticated. <clears throat> so I'm going to click OK, and you will see a new folder there, which is the same name as your project. The repository we created is currently empty. So obviously, when I go in here, there's nothing. Subversion documentation recommends that you create three subfolders under the root of your project as follows branches, tags, and trunk. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And your new project should be placed in the trunk folder. I'm not going to go into the details of what these two folders will do. Maybe in a different video we'll do that. I'm going to open a new window and I'm going to copy the source code from our renamed folder into the trunk folder. Because these are all new files and folders, they would need to be added into the repository. And the command for that is SVN add in Tortoise SVN. It should be at the add command right here. 
and by default select all is selected so just click OK Once that is complete, just click OK, and the final step is to run SVN commit. Just right click, click on SVN commit. You'll see this dialog box, and it's good practice to enter your comments in here. Click OK. Depending on how the project is and where the server is located this should take from a few minutes to um, I don't know, a few hours depending on how big the files are in this case uh, I'm really close to the server it's with <laughs> it's in the same room so it should only take under a minute to complete I just want to make a note that there are other ways to import a project into SVN and this is just one of them. I hope you enjoy that walkthrough. Let me know if you have any questions and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.